everyone, let's take a look at the four in loop. As you know, the rock you dance has a sequence of steps that have to be performed a hundred times. Let's see how we can use the for loop to do the same. Here's how. For variable name in range, perform the following statements. So let's put this in our example. We repeat the three rock you steps until the count value is equal to 100. So here we initialize the count value to 0 and then we check for count in range 100 perform the three raw queue steps. In this way the three steps are repeated 100 times until the value of count is equal to 100 and then the loop stops. Isn't this cool? But guess what? For loops can also traverse a string. Let's take a look at this example. For variable name in the sequence name, perform the following statements. Here the name of the variable is name, which is equal to a string dance with python. And you're checking for the character in name print character. Here each character of the string is printed onto a new line. In this way the for loop traverses a string. You can also use the for loop to traverse other sequences like tuples, dictionaries and so on.